Hi, in this video I would like to talk to you about the artistic meaning behind the second movement of Pathetic Sonata by Beethoven, Opus 13. I think in many ways this movement is an expression of Beethoven thinking about some, some good times, something really warm, um, something true and happy from his past. Nonetheless, it's from the past and something that cannot be returned, something we cannot go back to. This music itself uh, comes to my mind every time I return to places where I haven't been uh, for a long time, places that I visited in my childhood and very often I enjoyed traveling on the train and this, this idea of train moving and passing next to places that you get to see just for a brief moment um, and it's a memory that you cannot quite grasp something that is gone before you fully get to cherish it. I think that's the meaning of this movement. It's something that has certain element of distance. It's not something where we are inside the music, inside the actual story, but something that we remember and we wish could come back, but cannot really sometimes uh, do that. Yes, the time doesn't allow us to do that. So for that reason, uh, I think uh, trying to play this in a very expressive way uh, might not necessarily work. And the second thing that I wanted to mention also is that the choice of tempo has to be appropriate. Um, I think if we think about this piece um, in too slow terms, we will feel that there are very strict two beats per bar. So. Which kind of gives us this impression of music feeling very slow. Um, I think we might we have to imagine a very long phrasing and get this effect of music just passing in front of us rather than us being part of it, being so uh, massively involved in this. Now, the second artistic or musical element in here, this one, it's, uh, it's something that breaks us out from that dream of, of, of the happiness from the past, of, of good moments of our life. And this realization that the current time cannot bring it back to life is kind of painful. So I think there is a sense of coldness in this theme, there is a sense of loneliness. We don't hear this as very warm, we don't hear this as um, being positive, it's just realizing that the reality of it is that whatever we've been dreaming of in those nice sections um, be in between is gone. Um, the third section, this one, I think this represents something that is uh, quite um, frequent in Beethoven's music, so it presents his drive towards um, wanting to go on with life, uh, wanting to, uh, to not to let himself down or think in a negative way for very long. So there is a sense of energy to Um, there is a very different sense of direction in here, particularly comparing with the other two. So I think it's quite important, I think, to treat this, uh, this theme as, again, something slightly different within the context of entire movement. Uh, we, of course, then come back to the, uh, um, to the original theme, this time in triplets, so uh, this one... ...and so on. Uh, and the last section, coda, is uh, to me personally a place where um, that past and so something that we cannot get back, a person that is gone or a place that is gone, we are reunited with it for the very last time. Is it, you know, in a different life, in a dream or in any other situation we can possibly or humanly imagine? I guess it doesn't matter, but there is a sense of sense of peace and, and true happiness uh, right at the end. And I think uh, this lends itself very well to use of left pedal and a really much softer sound. So let's say... Yes, and I think this really should feel like we we have come to some sort of agreement between the reality, which is kind of cold and and sad, uh, between the dream, that is dream of a past, and uh, I think there is a sense of closure in here. 
And finally, we come to a very char another characteristic feature of Beethoven's music. So um, in a way, his sense of humor, I think, um, despite of all these difficulties and really difficult and challenging life, uh, his wit and, and sense of humor has never left him. So I think we get the feeling of, we just think, well, so what? Well, it just happened this way, you know? So that's that's life. So he doesn't finish this movement in a sad way, uh, nor in the happy one, because we don't know what are what is possible really in life. But we just think, well, that's really what it is. That's why the ending itself is quite simple. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was uh, in some way inspiring or it maybe give you an, a different idea to what you thought about. Again, I can't claim that this is the only way to interpret this sonata. There are many others, but this is just my own personal view and how I experience this music. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Thank you.